protect us. Mercedes. Oh, to do. Was there something you needed? His Highness sent me to collect you. I see. I'll be with you in just a moment. I'm almost finished here. You were praying. I was. Praying for everyone's safety. And praying for good desserts tonight. And that my next exam goes well. The Fodlan goddess will accept prayers of any sort. <laughs> it's true. I've thought the same thing myself. That reminds me to do. Weren't you born in Dusker? Yes. Do the people of Dusker pray to the goddess too? Dusker had a very different view of religion. Oh? In Dusker, there were many gods. The sky had a god. The earth had a god. We made offerings to the war god for victory in battle. Held feasts for the sea god to calm the waves. So your people prayed to different gods depending on what they needed? Correct. Your beliefs sound so different from ours. Tell me more. Why? Dusker is a ruin. Dusker may be gone, but you're still here. Would you tell me more about it the next time we meet? <sighs> if you insist. Really? That would be great! I'm looking forward to hearing more soon. Dusker is gone, but I'm still here. Ah, I think I get it. So the Sky God got into an argument with the Earth God, then Dusker was created? To oversimplify it somewhat, yes. <laughs> There's something so mysterious about it. There are only mountains separating us from Dusker, but it's like a completely different world. This has been so interesting. I've never learned so much about it before. There are not many left to pass on the legends of Dusker. Really? That's a shame. It's almost like when someone dies, or a family line ends. I think a place is only truly destroyed when there's no one left to remember it. You should tell more people about Dusker to keep it alive. That is a strange thing to say. Oh? Why do you think that? Dusker is forever the enemy of Fargus. No one cares about our culture or history. I'm different, though. I don't know anyone who was killed by the people of Dusker. I don't hold a grudge against you, and I never have. Um, Dudu? Is this recipe from Dusker? You don't care for it. No, no. I was actually surprised by how much I enjoyed it. Would you teach me how to make it soon? But it seems I am ever the teacher with you, and seldom the student. You're right. I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, I have an idea. My mother taught me to bake the perfect sweets to go with tea. Would you like to learn how to bake them? It's a secret Martreats family recipe that's been passed down for generations. House Martreats of the Empire? I thought they were no more. It's true. My father's family was wiped out in the Empire. I'm the last living descendant. Are you certain you wish to impart such precious memories to me? Of course. Now that my family's gone, I'm the only one who knows the secret. The sweets would vanish from Fodlan if something happened to me. I see your point. Yes, I would like to learn. Oh, Dudu! Are you praying to the goddess of Fodlan? That seems odd. Won't the Dusker gods be upset if they hear you praying to another land's deity? The Fodlan goddess was recognized in Dusker, too. The deities of foreigners are seen as the protectors of their respective lands. It has been said that we would offer our prayers to her in times of war. Huh. So the goddess is part of a pantheon. I guess that's one way to interpret it. Anyway, what are you praying for? For peace to come even one day sooner. <sighs> that's a lovely prayer. I was just thinking about praying for that myself. 
I see. Hey, Dudu. What are your plans for yourself once this war is finally over? To serve His Highness for the rest of my days. I thought you might say that. And you? That's a good question. I was thinking about traveling to Dusker. To Dusker? There is nothing of interest left there. Isn't it where you were born? And isn't it where your wonderful food and stories come from? I think those are reasons enough to visit at least once. Mercedes. If you will allow it, I would like to accompany you. His Highness would surely grant me leave to go. You really think so? Then I hope the war ends as soon as possible. As do I. We're going to have to shower the Goddess with prayers. We'll pray that she watches over and protects us while we work to end this war. Then, when it's finally finished, we can travel. That promises to be interesting. We should pray to the Dusker Gods as well. Yes, that's a brilliant idea. Which of the Dusker Gods should we pray to? For victory, we pray to the God of War, or... Or? Just the God of War. Come on, what were you going to say? Uh. Oh, I know. It's the God of Travel, right? Let us leave it at that. I knew I was right. You taught me so much about your gods. So let's pray. For the end of the war, and for our safe travels to Dusker. <laughs>